because um, it doesn't go very well over otherwise. Uh, we'll begin with the roll call. Uh, uh, clerk, follow up. Um, Trustee Frazier? Here. Trustee Martin? Here. Trustee Kelly? Here. Treasurer Bud? Here. Supervisor McNamara? Here. Governor Barr? Thank you. Oh, sorry, excuse me, please. We have an executive summary, which basically tells us we are going to be adding to our consensus agenda today. It's a resolution to participate in a new national year settlement, which was reached with, uh, which was reached with Tava, Allergy, and CBS, Walgreens, and Walmart. Uh, we're in about four of those. Unfortunately, when we uh, offer us the new ones to get into, they typically only give us a week to 10 days to join. Um, and they already decided what the payouts are going to be at nationwide, so we really don't want to miss any more of these. Uh, this will also allow me to enter into any future uh, future lawsuits under this whole period settlement. Uh, we also have, are going to be at paying our prepaid list, which is our electric bill, our regular bills. Our voucher list is also included. We have our director, uh, uh, past director of the DDA, Ms. Ireland here. To get a proclamation of thank you from uh, the board. We also have a 23 minute budget for the Iron Bell Trail and discussion on the increase of the 23 minute budget for French Landing uh, Fishing Dock. Uh, we're also going to have a resolution for a planned residential development. It's agreement with Cobblestone Creek Condominium Project. Uh, and we have a me memorandum of understanding with Wayne County. For, uh, some demolition funding money that we would like to bring into the township. That's it for that. All right, can I get a motion to approve Treasurer Bud uh, the the consent agenda? Wait a second. Let's get something. I'm going to make a motion to approve the agenda as presented with the note that we will be adding consent agenda number five, which will have been. Approve of resolution 2023-06, approval for participation in the OBS settlement, and also to consider authorizing the supervisor to enter into any future open opiate and other settlement. Okay, Or thank you. Just just afraid of okay. I have a motion. I support any questions. All in favor? I oppose. This motion passes. Next item would be the adoption of the revised consent agenda. Um, thank you. Trustee Martin, please. I make a motion we approve the consent agenda. Item one, board meeting minutes of March 7, 2023. Item two, prepaid list of March 9, 2023. Item three, prepaid list of March 16, 2023. Item four, voucher list of March 21st, 2023. And number five, approval of resolution 2023-06, approval to participate in the National Opioid Settlements reached with Tiva, Allergan, CVS, Walgreens, and Walmart. Can I get a support? Support. For question to keep Frazier. Okay. The only discussion would be that we add part of the Oh, please can you add that? Yeah. Um, I, I'm asking that uh, Trustee Martin, if you would like to amend this resolution to add that part for the supervisor can enter into a uh, future old period uh, litigation. Good chair. I ask to amend my motion to include. Uh, consider approval authorizing the supervisor to enter into future opioid litigation settlement agreements in coordination with the recommendation from national and local council. Thank you. Okay, second. Hearing no discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motions passes. Thank you very much. We move forward to public hearing, which we have none. We are now in the correspondence, announcements, and presentations. Um, I've got, I've got one. I've, I've got one. I've got no trustee work as one well also. First of all, it's bad road time of the year. Roads get bad. Please, there is a number to call eight 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 Road Crew. 
If you call us to fix your roads, we are going to call 888 Road Crew. There is a reason for that because the county actually, their own people, the commissioners, everybody else calls 888 Road Crew. If it's not on the list, they don't go do it. So just call 888 Road Crew. It's all we can do, really. Um, now we have this screaming like crazy, like everybody else is screaming about roads. And I can tell you that I've talked to them every every other day, and I talked to them again this morning. They are spending an incredible amount of resources on our roads right now. They're bringing in a lot of rock. They want to look at every road this year to see if they can solve some of these water issues. They're actually going to some of the sounds that they're going to try their best to actually fix and not just go through the motions like they have over the last few years. They will be in our, our township starting this week, and hopefully within the next two or three weeks, we will have a good start. Um, that's what I've got. Uh, Trustee Martin. Wayne County presents Hazard Outbound Hazardous Waste Collection. This will take place on April 1st, 2023, from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Wayne County Community College in Scott Campus. Uh, examples of things that you can uh, dispose of, household paints, stains and dyes, automotive batteries, dry cell batteries, computer CPUs, monitors, printers, scanners, and it's a very extensive list. Uh, for more information, you may call Wayne County at 734-326-3936 or go on their website, www.waynecounty.com for more information. Um, Director Zaglin, is, is that on our website also, on the Van Buren website? I think it should be on the website. I know I saw it on Instagram, so it's on our social media uh, outlets. Once again, that is April 1st at Wayne County Community College from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Great. This email is going to be announcements. We move on into a, a, something I'm looking forward to. Is, uh, we get to talk about the Innovator Programming Award. We'd love to give recognition to the director, Director Sanklin, on our real group. Yay. No, it isn't. It's fine. Okay. Okay. All right. Cost of oil. As usual. Not that I want to show my age, but there's words on this paper. Thank you, board. Happy spring. It's our second day of spring. So happy to be here. And it's always good to come and talk to you folks, but it's even better when you're coming and talking about an award. Two weeks ago, our team was honored with an innovative programming award from MTARCS at our annual conference due to our programming and management of the Real. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the Real, a unique opportunity came our way in 2017 as a grant to fund a summer youth employment program through DWIN, which is Detroit Wayne Integrated Health Network. This opportunity was championed by Director Sumter, who breathed life and a greater purpose into it. This simple summer youth employment program became the real. Director Sumter, she shaped the real into a citizen making machine that allowed our youth in our community to serve our local senior citizens by providing light yard maintenance. Throughout these past summers, Director Sumter included training for our participants in the way of mental health awareness and career readiness. Last year, the Recreation Department managed the reel and took this established program and infused into it recreational programming aspects. Our participants continued their training with presentations on mental health and life preparedness by participating in sessions like Finding Your Life Purpose and Suicide Prevention is Everyone's Business, along with daily mentoring and interacting with our seniors by yours truly. <laughs> The Real offered three free art therapy classes to our seniors at Haggerty Elementary. Our seniors are still feeling the sting of a lack of participation since the pandemic, and they are eager to participate in programs where they can interact with our youth and maybe even try something new. These programs were run entirely by our Real staff, from offering our seniors refreshments to sitting with them and walking them through these different um, art projects that we did. 
Each senior commented on how lovely it was to spend time with our youth and how professional and courteous they were. Although this award um, recognizes the programming aspects that were instilled into the program last year, I would like to take this opportunity to thank Director Sumter for her hard work and vision to make the real more than just the summer youth employment program. She made it, forgive me, real for our youth and our seniors. I know that this is an award show, it is award show time, but I would be remiss if I didn't mention our park maintenance staff member, John Kopenauer. John has been with the program from the beginning. Um, I conduct, conducted end of summer evaluations with our crew that we hired last summer. And these are the things they had to say about John. Now remember, these are teenagers, okay? This is their experience working with our staff. And speaking of John, they said he was helpful. He did a good job leading. He was organized. It felt like our safety came first. He did a stupendous job. I think he ran the program great, and I had a fun experience working here. So thank you, John, for your hard work, and thank you for this opportunity. Thank you. I know thank you very much. Well, that down. Um, this is kind of exciting to get an award. Does anybody have any questions? Or <laughs> it is uh, we've got it again coming again um, this year. Um, yeah, so we're in the process right now of, of submitting our grant request through DWIN, looking for funding again. The information is on our website if anyone is interested in working with us, working for the real this summer. It's a six week employment program. The kids work a guaranteed 20 hours a week. We work them hard and we have a great time. It's a great program, it's well worth the up. <laughs> yeah, but it is very innovative, innovative too. It's not just go out and do lawns. They learn things. Thank you. All right. Next item is. We have one more announcement before we get to our next presentation. Thank you. Sure. So, uh, communications with working with community services and public services and installing time lapse cameras. For the new community center that is under construction, we thought this was going to be a great uh, feature to memorialize and create an artifact of this much anticipated it it bigger? community project. Yes, I got it. I'm going to start in just a second. So, one of the features of these time lapse cameras was a live stream where anybody from the public is accessible from our community services page and will be accessible from our home page too. They can live stream. Uh, to the, the construction that you can get a view of the site, which during the day you can capture them. Uh, let's bring up just a second. Being busy at work, you can see that it's not a lot that's going on right now. But this is this is a live stream feature that captures an overview of the community center being built. And during the day, it's kind of fun, fun to watch. You can see you know workers all over the site and all the heavy machinery putting together uh, the community center. So. That's, that is one extra feature that we had on there that's accessible, but it also has a time lapse feature, which we're able to update. And I'll just run through a very quick video. It's on YouTube, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it, it, it will go to YouTube. So as you see, this is, uh, it was it 12, 12 frames per second time lapse since this was installed uh, a few weeks back. <laughs> you can see the building getting built up there. Mm -hmm. That was a quick version of, of a of time lapse camera, but we'll be able to use these types of videos for a whole bunch of different content kind of creations. We have another camera. Uh, the, the other camera was the live stream. We do have other cameras mounted uh, indoors too that we're working on, you know, uh, that are set up. We have indoor cameras as well that have time lapse features that you'll be able to use a lot of at different times. Okay. Fun. Okay. Thank you very much. Director Ireland, live from our world tour. Probably smelling of bubble butter. Here, 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 you're back on vacation. 
Come, come on up. I, I don't know what to do. I'll do this. I have another I have a proclamation from the board that I will read. Thank you very much. I thought I was done with this. I thought I was done with this. I know. I know. I, I look at this. It's like a few hours. Okay. Even after 38 years, you, you know, I'm sorry. Get a little extra. I can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Uh, this is a proclamation honoring Susan Ireland for 38 years of service to Van Buren Township. Susan Ireland has been a resident of Van Buren Township for most of her life. She graduated Belleville High School and Susan Ireland began her career of service to Van Buren Township in December 10th of 1984. Susan Ireland served in multiple capacities during her 38 year career, which included roles with the supervisor's office as a confidential secretary and executive assistant. And as an assessor, where she would achieve her level three certification, which she has maintained throughout her career. Susan Ireland has was instrumental in the formation of the Van Buren Downtown Development Authority in 1990 and became the executive director of the DDA in 2008. As the DDA executive director, Susan Iron completed over $32 million in capital improvement projects in collaboration with the township, all for the betterment of our community. These include the I-94 pedestrian bridge, the construction of Belleville Road's fire station, the re reconfiguration of the Belleville and Ecorse intersection, many Belleville road improvement projects, the creation of Harris Park, wow, the Van Buren Community Center block, um, block, Black Box Theater, and the construction of the Splash Pad at Burke Park. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Susan Allen, throughout her career, has demonstrated extraordinary civic leadership, professionalism, integrity, and on the DDA executive director foster a significant partnership between the township and the DDA. And it's signed by the board, and we want to say thank you for everything you've done. Thank you. And welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. DDA also had a plaque uh, yeah. available. Yeah. I think, uh, or not, but, uh, it's available for your photo shots. Mm -hmm. Let's go over here for the board. Let's push that way. Which is the side. I'm a prime handkerchief on the other side. A little more. There we go. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to block any scans. Don't get in a woman's way. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, I think I have lost the time in good hands. Okay, you have. I think so. Pretty much hand picked up. She's here. Did you want to say anything? Yeah. I mean, you left behind a great legacy, a lot of projects. And she looks like she's only 38. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, my experience has been, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. My experience here has been like, it was a job that I took and I thought, this is a great job for the next four years while I finish school. And I just never left. <laughs> and one thing happened and supervisors came and went and I stayed, they left and then then I got the app. I always worked with the DDA, but then I got an opportunity to do it full time, and I couldn't turn down that um, offer to do that. And I would like to think that we've been able to get some really, really good projects done. I think it's made a difference to the community. Um, so that's good. And I can just been thinking about it. And I think that we've been able to set the tone, and I have every confidence that Mary is just going to pick up right where I left off. 
Um, so I thank you very much. I I never would have thought that it would be this long to get here. <laughs> Thanks. You've got big shoes to fill. Should I have next to Okay. Just Susan and I go way back together, way back. And it's always been a pleasure to have her in the building. It's been a pleasure to get to know her. It's been a pleasure to work with her. And she will be missed, although we're looking forward to having Mary join in the crew. And uh, good luck to you, Susan. And, you know, we're still, you know, we can still go have lunch and stuff. That would be okay. really you know, and yeah, Sherry was one of the first people when I came here that I met, and she actually was nice to me. <laughs> I started out with CDBG, remember that? Yeah. Oh, and it was just, and I had no idea what I was doing. Mm -hmm. But I learned fast. You have to sometimes. You just got to dig and look and search, but we got it done. So Sherry's kind of been, um, you know, you have your times, but she's, said things to me that have been good for me. She has been very kind to me. She has been a good friend. Um, and I really do. I appreciate her kindness. Uh, it's been a pleasure working with you. I mean, every time I knew I was in the gym, I'd call you up and you pretty much knew where I was going to ask because you already had lunch with her. <laughs> <laughs> she warned you what was coming. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. No, so. but you know, you do what you can do. As long as you're within the kind of confines of what the BDA has to offer, you have a problem. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. I hope don't make yourself a stranger. No, I hope not. I've been very busy okay. after when I left. Uh, hey, I was supposed to leave to go to Florida on yeah. Wednesday. Yeah. Well, that didn't work out so good. I had to postpone it a week. We lost oh, power no. for a second time where I lived. Um, for another five days. So I was like 10 days without power. So I was glad I put it off a week and I just got back not too long ago. So um, it was a nice vacation. I enjoyed it. Thank you very much for everything. No, thank you. Wow, I really do. Yeah, everybody's all set. Thank you very much. Come on up. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll be around. I'll be there and there. Better be. <laughs> we got your number. <laughs> okay, we're moving on to public comments. Any of the public that wishes to comment today on any of the issues that we're about to discuss? Hearing none of unfinished business, we have none. One second. Got a lot of notes in here. Okay, we're all set. New business, we're on item number one. Discussion on and to consider approval of the budget amendment to increase the amended budget by $1,078,000 uh, for the Iron Bell Shell project. Can I get a motion? I make a motion. We approve the budget amendment to increase the 2023 amended budget. For the Iron Bell Trustee Fisher. Sure. Okay. Sure. Uh, I need support. 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 All right. Director. Thank you. Director of Trustees. Uh, so, as you're aware, Main Green Township's Iron Bell Trail project is alive and strong and pushing forward. Um, the proposed budget amendment before us allocates the appropriate funds to both the expense account and the reimbursement account. Uh, line items within our parks budget for 2023 Iron Bell Trail. So during the budget season in 2022, we weren't positive how far we would get on our current projects given winter conditions. Um, so that's the reason that we're doing this budget amendment. 
Um, so this amendment would increase our expense line item to one million seventy eight thousand, and the reimbursement account to nine hundred eighty seven thousand coming back to us. So that difference of ninety one thousand is related to our contributions of the township on section B and section H. Okay, so we got the grant, and they're getting ninety percent money. Anybody have any questions? No. No. Okay, I've uh, got a motion by Trustee Frazier, supported by Trustee Kelly. Last call for questions. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. Moving on to line two discussion on to consider approval of the budget amendment for French Landing Talks. Can I have a motion? Through the care. Trustee Kelly. I move to approve the budget amendments to increase the 2023 amended budget. Nine hundred twenty-five thousand for the French Landing Fishing Dock reconstruction project. Yes. Okay. So we've been working on the French Landing Park improvement project since about two thousand nineteen. On um, the last two steps to get us over the finish line are the public kayak launch and the dock reconstruction component. Um, we did apply for a Sparks grant to fund these two items. Unfortunately, we did not receive the grant. Um, so we're here tonight requesting that the funds budgeted in 2022 to complete this work are rolled over into this budget amendment into 2023 um, to allow us to be able to finish out French Lane Park. Um, if approved, the project will be bid out in the next few months and be constructed in place. Last year we went to finish the docks and we had a problem getting permits. <laughs> it's a problem. Um, at any rate, so we just can complete the work. We're going to complete this year. That's what's your goal. Okay. Hearing no questions, I have a motion by Trustee Kelly, supported by Treasurer Bud. Hearing no further discussion, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. Thank you. Next item uh, discussion on um, number three the discussion on the consider approval of a resolution for final plan or residential. Development with cobblestone pre condominiums. Can I get a motion? I make a motion we approve resolution 2023 04 for the plan present residential development for the revised Cobble Creek condominium project by Infinity Acquisitions LLC. Okay, yeah, I get a second by. Or Trustee Martin. Okay, Director, could you take it away? All right, thank you, Board. Uh, tonight with uh, us is um, Ms. Hawde of Infinity Acquisition, so you can help to fill in any gaps in the project that I can't cover. But uh, briefly, as mentioned, this is a request for a uh, final planned residential development uh, plan and PRV agreement for the uh, amended or revised Cobblestone, Cobblestone Creek Villas. Project. So in 2005, uh, the uh, Cobblestone Creek development was launched. It includes about uh, 258 planned units, including 154 detached homes and 104 attached uh, residential condos uh, in townhouse, so uh, duplex, fourplex, sixplex units. Um, those two parts of the project were, were split off and uh, only part of the attached phase was completed. So um, the project was originally developed around 2005. There's been a gap in construction in the southern half of the attached condominium phase. And so Infinity Acquisitions uh, has sought to develop the remainder of that phase. And in doing so, they're proposing a different mix of units, uh, single story and one and a half story units as opposed to two story units and reducing the overall density of the project. So uh, where those attached units uh, totaled 104 previously, um, Infinity is now uh, proposing 96 total units. Uh, instead of 26 buildings, there are now 25 proposed. Uh, 44 of the units have been completed as two-story units. Uh, so uh, Infinity is seeking to build out the remaining uh, 52 units and 13 buildings. Um, this process has, uh, involved the revisions of the original approved plans uh, and, and being that it has that requires a uh, kind of a restart of the typical plan residential development and site condominium or condominium review process 
And I will just summarize that that process has uh, now been completed up to the final step of approval here tonight. Uh, and so as part of that process, a public hearing was required with the Planning Commission. Uh, that was completed in June of 2022. Um, as part of that hearing, the Planning Commission heard positive feedback from the neighboring um, condominium association, which was important to um, getting buy in for this, this revision to the project. In November 2022, uh, preliminary approvals for the condominium plan and PRD plan were approved by both the Planning Commission and Township Board. Uh, and finally, on March 8th, uh, the Planning Commission uh, approved the final condominium plan and forwarded a recommendation for the approval of the uh, revised PRD agreement and PRD plan for the overall project. Um, as part of the PRD, uh, some minor modifications have been requested, um, including the floor area of some units and the setbacks of some units from the adjacent private roads. Um, but overall, this is a project that has been thoroughly reviewed by the Planning Commission and has been uh, notified to the adjacent condominium association and uh, has the Planning Commission support. Uh, just really briefly, I'll show you just a sample of some of the uh, units. You can see this trend toward um, single story uh, seem to be more popular uh, now than it was perhaps in 2005. And so these are the, the single and one and a half story unit styles that Infinity is proposing to build. Um, so you have a PRD plan and agreement um, that has now been reviewed by the township attorney and a recommendation for approval. Uh, and here to answer any questions you may have, or I'm sure the applicant could also uh, speak to the project. Any questions? Mr. Chair? Yes. Director Howard, I was just looking at the recommendation and they were uh, referring to the storm sewer. And it says the applicant obtained Wayne County approval uh, via an approval letter dated December 5th, 2003. That, that title or is that actual? Said? That's actual from the original review of the project. And because there are no, uh, there's no increase to the rooftop and paved surfaces, um, there's no need for additional uh, mm -hmm. stormwater uh, approvals by Wayne County, the understanding of staff. Uh, I know that the applicant has submitted uh, final engineering plan to the township. So in 2003, basically the same amount of rooftops were. Is uh, was planned then and is in now? It's actually less oh, now. It's less. less now because of the uh, reduced number of units. Okay. Okay. Trustee Martin just woke up a little kernel in my mind. In 2003, this was going to be one large condominium project. Is it still, is this new section of the condominium going to join the old HOA? They're actually going to be part of a, um, I forget the term, there's going to be two different condominium kind of associations that both respond to a master condominium kind of association. Is that? Yeah, I can speak to it. Yeah, if you'd like to speak to it. Yeah. The problem we have with this is when you get old rows, that condo kind of association is going to run over the old condo kind of association's rows, and sooner or later they're going to have to be updated, and then every RD is who's going to pay. Okay. Yeah, good evening, board. Uh, Reno Spider with the Infinity Homestead Company. Uh, touch on a couple of things you just mentioned. Uh, regarding the HOAs, we worked with them prior to bringing a plan forward with them. So, what's going to happen is there, there's going to be now two different HOAs within this because there's two different product mixes, right? There's more of the townhomes and the rent style product we'll, uh, we'll work with closing out. Um, so, what's going to happen is they're going to pay their own, because keep in mind the units are a couple of decades old now, they're almost 20 years old, probably going to 20 years old. Our units are brand new. So the, the debate and discussion that we had was that the new residents shouldn't pay the deferred maintenance on the existing unit. And they, you know, once I kind of outlined them, they, they kind of agreed that. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a governing body basically that will will manage the roads, the common area, the maintenance, snow plowing, things of that sort, the education of the community. Um, but the roads actually, we entered into a separate contractual agreement with them. It's going to allow for us to basically repay the roads, put the final learning course on. Probably some areas where there's settlement, whatnot, the roads been sitting there for, like I said, 15 to going on 18 years old. Oh, so, great. So, it's they're really happy. It's a win win for everybody. So, okay. Any other questions? That's great. Okay, if there's no other questions, I have a, a motion by Trustee Frazier and it's been supported by Trustee Martin. Hearing no further discussion, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Welcome back.
Okay. Okay. So we're on item number four, which is discussion and to consider approval on a memorandum of understanding with Lane County's Land Bank Authority for a demolition money. Yeah, your motion. I make the motion to approve the resolution 2023 05, uh, understanding with Wayne County Land Bank Authority for funding to support demolition of a structure on township property located at 39600 Tyler Road. Or Trustee Martin. Okay, Director. Yes, thank you, Board. Uh, over the course of the last, um, Few months, the municipal service director, the public service director, and others have identified that the uh, former dock panel building at 39600 Tyler Road uh, is a building that is in need of removal. It's a blighted building, um, and the township has already been seeking to uh, find means to remove that structure. Um, coincidentally, uh, the timing has lined up for a great opportunity to seek funding from the Wayne County Land Bank Authority. Um, also in partnership with the State of Michigan Land Bank Authority uh, to, to assist with demolition on publicly owned properties in townships and cities in the area. So um, the Wayne County Land Bank Authority has made available $4,059 in funding to support our demolition of that structure. And they have asked that we, uh, they've requested that we sign a memorandum of understanding uh, to secure the terms of that uh, funding. And so that's what's before me tonight. Okay. Any questions? The old building, we don't use it. It can, is not repurposable for anything that we've used in the past for. It's just not sanitary or safe or anything. Okay. Um, I got a motion by Trustee Frazier, supported by Trustee Martin. Hearing no further discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you, Director. Thank you. Well, of course, we have none. <laughs> Calling for public comment on any non agenda items. If not this time, anybody from the public can speak at any item that they wish to. Very none. Board comments. Is there anybody from the board that wishes to make any comments? No. Call for adjournment. Motion to adjourn. Support. Yeah, motion. I support. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Yeah. We are adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.